thanks for being here today. We are extremely excited to have Jeff Hendry here at Bayer Secondary School to celebrate our two Youth Sustainability Champions. We have Maeve Cotton and Danica Hassan. So congratulations to you two, and on behalf of the entire Eco team, I just want to say, um, definitely from Ms. Lees, Ms. Donald, and Ms. Cameron, that these two individuals were the ones who were motivating us while we were all online and doing all these different projects. So a huge thank you, and I'm going to turn things over to Jeff Hendry to make the presentation and to speak a, to have, to speak a few words. Sure, thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored to be here on behalf of Sustainable Kingston, and Maeve and Danica, you have been an inspiration to our community. We've received so many comments from uh, individuals in our community who were so impressed about the work you did. Um, and so I, I don't want to make you stand up here the entire time while I blab on about the award at Sustainable Kingston, so I, I'd be honored to award you the Youth Sustainability Champion Award for 2021. Thank you so much. Um, a little bit about Sustainable Kingston. We are a nonprofit. Uh, we've been around since 2012, and our goal is to enhance the livability and resilience, uh, really resiliency of Kingston. Uh, we work closely with the city of Kingston on a lot of uh, community projects, and um, and we uh, also have a business program called the Sustainably Dot Eco Program that we're very proud of. Um, I, uh, just a couple of words about about the work that you do and the whole Eco team. I've been so impressed about the work because particularly you have overcome the upper, you overcame and are continuing to overcome the obstacle of the pandemic. And it would have been very easy to say, look, we're not, school's not in, th this is too hard, this is not what we've been doing. But you guys persevered and you came up with all these cool online projects and you're continuing with the Food Forest project and you're engaging with the community. And it's really inspirational, and frankly, I really feel like you guys have cracked the code about sustainability, which is innovation. It's working towards a, a goal and trying your best to, to deal with the obstacles that you've got. And that's what we all need to do. We need to think about supply chains, and we need to think about you know, how our food is getting into the, the city, and all these different things. And when you, when you go through that exercise, you, find, you hit roadblock after roadblock, and you just have to find a way around the roadblock. And it sounds like that's the work that you guys do day in, day out with the Eco Team. So thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, please keep up the great work. Uh, and keep, keep in touch, and I say this to everyone, you know, keep, there's so many great groups in the city, the 350 uh, um, Earth Hub, there's a lot of organizations and they die, they love to know what you guys are up to. So don't be shy of reaching out to all these organizations like Sustainable Kingston and these other organizations and say, hey, this is what we're up to. Can you, can you give us a hand or let us, you know, tell other people in the community because um, it's really helpful. So again, congratulations, and uh, and please do keep in touch and keep us abreast of what's, what's going on with uh, the Eco Team here at Bay Ridge. Thank you. 